Hi everyone, I'm Alex from Sigma, and I'm going to show you how to configure Microsoft Teams to make and receive regular phone calls. If you find this video useful, please like, share, and don't forget to leave your comment. If you want to jump to a specific chapter of this video, there is an index below. So before we begin, what is Microsoft Phone System? It is a cloud phone system tightly integrated into Office 365 that uses Microsoft Teams as the client app and it can replace your phone system. You can use it with regular desk phones as well as apps on your computer, Mac, mobile phones without having to worry about configuring anything. You just need your username and password. Everything else is fully automated. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have multi-factor authentication enabled. Um, this system is simple and easy to use. You don't need to worry about upgrades, maintenance, or complex configuration. It works in a similar way as Office 365. You buy it as a service. Um, just bear in mind, the way Microsoft oversimplified this system means it may not have all the features that you need in your business. And uh, regarding the costs, you need first to look at the benefits of being an integrated service in Office 365 working seamlessly with other Microsoft applications. As a starting point, the user license and calling plan with 1,200 minutes uh, costs £12 in the UK per month. And uh, this is a bit towards the higher end, I would say. Uh, if you account that you also need to have Office 365 licensing on top. But um, let's now uh, get to deploy the phone system. If you don't have already an Office 365 biz business or enterprise account, sign up to trial. It's very quick. Just search for um, Office 365 business uh, trial and uh, and then just scroll down, there is here a free trial. Click on it and go ahead with the setup. It's fairly straightforward. Now that you have created your Office 365 account, we need to purchase or trial the necessary licenses. Um, go to www.office.com. I'm already logged in, but you just will be prompted for your credentials. Click on admin. Now on admin portal, if you're using the new the new admin center, just make sure you don't for the sake of this presentation. And um, now we need to go to billing and then purchase services. Hit control F and then search for um, Office 365 Business Premium. Here we can see it. I'm already trying trialing it. So I can't just trial it again. Uh, but if you look at other services, for example, Office 365 E5, you have a start free trial. You can click on it. It will ask you to verify who you are. So you put your phone number, you'll get a text, you'll go, you're gonna be verified and that's it. It's a very straightforward process. Once you're done with it, then we need to buy the business voice plan, which is actually what adds the Microsoft phone system. So again, you go billing, purchase services, just make sure. And here, you're gonna search for business voice. So you can see here, start free trial. Again, same drill. Uh, if you have already verified, you won't need to, to verify again. So let's try now. Also make sure you use this here, enable a free phone system virtual user. This is so you can, uh, you need to have a user to root calls. That's just how Microsoft phone system works. Before you used to charge for this license, which was wrong. So now they don't charge it. You just need to follow this procedure. So you click on activate now. And then you need to put your details again. Then this is the next screen. It just shows you the virtual user that it doesn't cost anything. Then the, again, this is a bit stupid, but um, ask for payment details, even though you're not buying anything. I just suggest you select 
invoice so you don't need to put your credit card details and then we place the order and then we are all set so let's continue to the setup now we need to create some user accounts and assign licenses to them so we go to users and then active users add a user so let's say we're going to create someone called john uh, smith let's say john s just for example and then uh, product licenses so here um we're gonna do um da -da -da. Is here and then business voice so I enable both office 365 business premium and once we enable it then we can enable business voice business voice on its own doesn't work you need to enable both so uh, we're gonna add this add into the user and voila we have the user here Okay, now that we have our users created and the license as, licenses assigned, um, let's go to the Teams admin portal and let's begin the configuration. So this is the dashboard of the admin panel for Microsoft Teams. The first thing that we need to do is to set up the emergency, emergency address for the company. Uh, and uh, to do that, we need to go into the legacy portal it's going to open a new page and then we navigate to voice and then emergency locations and now we're going to add uh, an emergency location that is to make sure if there is any emergency you know the rescue services will know where the call is coming from i'm just putting some random address here actually it's from minister of sounds and then validate so that's good we can save it so now if there is any emergency uh, they will dispatch the fire brigade to Ministry of sounds and there it goes so we can close this tab now also google maps and uh, we can go back to our configuration so now we need to add some phone numbers to our users so we go to voice phone numbers then add select the country so mine is UK and then phone type we're going to use user subscriber city we're going to select uh, London where is it here and location this is the emergency location that we created for us like the address of our company so and uh, that's going to show up here yeah we selected the company oh no add a name for this let's say office one the area code and then the quantity of numbers i want five and then click on next oh, also the order name office one let's say and click on next they're going to try i think to get uh, the five numbers in a row so as a sequence there we go we got the numbers and they're all in a sequence nice and let's place the order And there you go the order has been placed and the numbers will appear as soon as they become available that may take a few more minutes let's click on finish so all my numbers have shown up now as available to be used and uh, i need to assign each one of my users uh, one of these numbers i've been running into an issue here which i like to highlight for example you need to go to the number and then choose a person let's say John John has a Microsoft the business voice plan so that's fine and location we're gonna it's for the emergency services so we're gonna do this and now we're gonna apply but it's gonna fail yeah and uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is because the numbers were just allocated a few hours ago 
So I'm gonna wait a few more hours and just let you know these numbers uh, they were they were allocated but they were not ready to use for I think a couple of hours. I had to go out to come back and then eventually they came up. So it might be the same now. There might be something else in uh, in the background that needs to happen. Some time that I need to wait. So anyway, I'm gonna wait for a bit longer and then I'll resume the video. As I can't resolve that problem. Uh, I'm gonna try the legacy portal and let's go to voice phone numbers we can still see them here as well and um, like we can see we have the users with um, calling plan so let's try to go to phone number here and assign to a user so let's see uh, John Like John Smith, and we select the location, and let's see how it goes. Yeah, seems to be going through. Yeah, so try to explain that if you try to do that on the portal. So that's uh, 9113. Let's go back here. Let's check if it has updated already. Phone numbers. Um, I was saying status is pending, so yeah. So let's try to do this one now using the new portal. So again, um, Jane, sign, emergency location, and then let's try to apply. Yeah, now it went through. So. God knows, it, I tried that five minutes ago, so very odd. So I'm going to do the last user here, uh, it was um, uh, Joe, sign, and then again, search the Go figure, it worked. Anyway. Uh, we're going to wait for this status from pending go to ready and then we can start doing the next following steps. Right, so half an hour has passed and then all the users have their numbers assigned and working. We should be able to make and receive phone calls to these users. Now we need to set up auto attendant. This is the menu where, for example, you press, let's say, one for sales, two for support and so on. And we need to create resource accounts to manage that. So back to Teams dashboard, we go to org wide settings and then resource accounts. And now we create, let's say, the first account resource uh, auto attendant. And uh, I'm gonna make this the username as well, of course, without spaces. And auto attendant account type and we're going to do the same now for call queue so resource call queue just to make it simpler and remove spaces again and it's going to be call queue and then we save it what this is doing is creating these accounts as blocked accounts in Azure AD and let me show you this now we should have these accounts already showing up here and yeah, there we go. Both of them are blocked and they should have the right licensing assigned to them. Similar procedure as before. We're just gonna make sure that we select um, auto attendant and toll when we make the selection. And I suggest getting a range of numbers so you don't get caught short. So next. Uh, there we go, we have the numbers assigned, uh, reserved, so we can now place the order. Okay, the order has been placed, finish, and uh, well, as before, it might take several hours. We can see the order history, well, we can see that later on. Anyway, we're going to do some housekeeping and come back perhaps in an hour or so. So the service numbers now 
are ready to be used you can see here that the number type is service and uh, yeah let's start the configuration of the auto attendant so let's start by clicking on voice and then call attendant add let's give it a name cool. um, time zone enable voice inputs next and uh, well we can say this is just gonna say this it's because i'm gonna read this text um, then root call let's say a play menu options then uh, we can for example give here press one for let's say for a person you can create groups here as well so you can say um call jane and then the destination is jane you can put the groups as well here and uh, actually the person can say the name instead of just pressing the option it's quite nice so okay greetings need to be a bit longer oops These are the opening times of a business so you know just configure according to your business and then after hours you can say for example hey we are hey we are closed for example we just read the message to them and then you can choose what happens next um, you can for example redirect a call and then just put a voice app which actually is a voicemail, for example. So you can get the voicemails to your company delivered to a shared mailbox, I would suggest. So then just for example, let's say this is going to be delivered to Jane. And you can configure holidays as well. Again, um, this option is so uh, people can search for everyone in your company or not or just uh, a few people in specific and then let's add the resource account that we want to use for this it's going to be the resource auto attendant let's add submit and that's done now we need to assign a phone number to the auto attendant so when people call from outside your organization they can uh, hit the auto attendant. There is something I forgot. Uh, we need to actually add the phone system virtual user license to to this resource account. So um, otherwise, we won't be able to assign any number state. So let's do this here. Assign license state. And I'm gonna do this already for the call queue account as well. Now we just need to wait for it to apply this, and we should be able to configure a number for each one of those resource accounts. Now back to our resource auto attendant account. Let's assign a phone number to it. Make sure you select online. And um, I commit this mistake of putting the whole number like plus, four, four, and whatever goes, you'll never find anything. If you put the local number, it's not gonna find anything as well. You need to start, you need to start with the country code without the plus. Otherwise, it's not gonna display anything. It took me a while to find it out. So let's save it. Okay, now the auto attendance will work when we call from outside. And the next step will be to create a call queue. Call queues define how the calls are going to be delivered to end users. So we can go to voice, call queues, add, and let's choose the resource account that we're going to use for this, which is called the resource call queue. Add, and then um, 
well, do you want to have a greeting or not? Play audio file, let's say no greeting, play default music. And then who's going to answer the calls in this, uh, for this call queue? I would suggest creating uh, Office 365 groups and then you add the people in there. That, that's the best way of doing it. So let's, let's say, um, so let's say you have created already a group. I'm uh, just going to use all users now as an example. But of course you want to use, let's say a group called sales, a group called support, a group called accounts. That would be the best way of doing it and creating one call queue for each one of them. And there are different ways if it rings F1, if it rings people in order or not, round robins like, anyway, it is, um, I'll take this off so people cannot choose to not be part of it. You, you want to be in control of that. And uh, I feel the options here when the maximum number of people is reached, I would say disconnect if you have 50 calls in your queue, most likely one, you're not going to take them. And uh, what happens if people are in this queue for far too long? You perhaps can have a prompt saying, hey, uh, sorry for keep you waiting. Please uh, drop your phone number and then we give a call back. You know, just best practices of phone system. It goes beyond the scope of what I'm doing here, but just as an advice. Let's save this. Oh, the call queue name, of course. So let's save and the call queue was saved now we can use this call queue on our auto attendant and um, deliver these calls in a more organized way so now redirect to so we're gonna put voice app and then resource uh, call queue voice command we can let's say sales let's say and then and then we don't need to go next we can just submit so now if someone calls the external number of your auto attendant it will then give you some options depending which option the person presses it, it will hit ideally you want to hit a call queue and that call queue will handle how the call is going to be delivered to your users to anyone in specific to forward the call it can play specific music greetings you name it now they have finished setting up the call queue i would suggest setting up voicemail as well for that call queue so if you're out of working hours or something your customers can uh, leave a voicemail to you the only problem is you need to have a user account with a license assigned to it. I've complained to Microsoft already about this. I think there should be no need to have a license assigned, like you need to pay a license for it to have voicemail functionality. But for now, that's how the system works. And I'm hoping they will make changes to this in the near future. You need to create a regular user account. You need to assign a license and even a calling plan and configure that user as a voicemail. And I would suggest to enable call forwarding, uh, sorry, email forwarding for that user to then a distribution group. In that way, you can deliver the company voicemail to many people at the same time. Well, this was all the basic configuration you need to get Microsoft phone system working with Teams. As Microsoft is adding new features all the time to Teams and also to the phone system back end, by the time you watch this video, the procedure may have slightly changed. Please bear in mind. Um, please let me know how your deployment goes and uh, leave your comments below. Um, you know, I'll try to answer to all of them. And uh, if you need any assistance, I'm going to leave my contact details uh, and my website down below. And uh, yep, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, it will help me to, you know, encourage me to do some more of these videos going forward. Thank you very much.